In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to draw a clock in Inkscape version 0.45. In episode 34, I demonstrated how to manually make circular patterns or polar arrays. This time around, I will achieve polar arrays automatically using tiled clones. So let's begin. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a circle. I'll hold the control key down to get a perfect circle here and I'll make this just a little bit bigger okay I think that looks pretty good and we're gonna make this circle dark and I'm gonna turn off our stroke for now <clears throat> okay I'm gonna right click on this and duplicate it and I'm gonna make this one a medium gray I'm going to hold the control and the shift key down, select our upper handle, and bring this in just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to draw a Bezier path. I'm going to hold the control key down to get a straight line. And I'm going to change the stroke thickness. We'll try about a five and we're going to have to go a little thicker than that. We'll try a ten. Ten looks pretty good. And I'm going to change the length just a little bit here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take that and I'm also going to highlight our gray circle. We'll do last selected, and I'll make that point to the upper, the or the top of the circle here. Okay, and I think I'm going to make that just a little bit thicker. I have to go with a 12. Let's see what a 12 looks like. Yeah, let's try a 14. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I'll select both again and I'll line these up. There we go. Okay, now we'll just make this white. And I'll make this gray circle. We'll do about 50% transparency so we can see behind it there. <clears throat> Okay, now, what I intend to do, I'll take this stroke and this circle, and I'm going to group them together. Next, I'm going to go into our Edit, Clone, and Clone Tiled Clones. I'm sorry, Create Tiled Clones. Okay, and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So let me just scoot this over a little bit. <clears throat> What we're going to need to do is we're going to put that on simple translation and I'm going to put 12 down here because I want to wrote or I'm sorry I want to do uh, I want to make 12 clones of this stroke all the way around here. This is going to represent the uh, hours. We'll go into shift. Uh, the very first one I'm going to put in a negative 100 percent and for the shift Y I'll put in a negative 100 percent. And for rotation, I'm going to rotate this every 30 degrees. So I'm going to highlight this group and hit create. And it's a little hidden, but what I have are 12 copies of uh, my group. So let me slide this out of the way for now. and I'm gonna window around just this group and I'm gonna ungroup it. I've gotta do it twice so I'm gonna do it again. Okay now what I'm gonna do is select my gray circle and I'm gonna keep deleting it. I'll have to do this about 11 times I think. I will undo that last one and you see that I've got my 12 steps around here. 
that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, I'll zoom in on this area right here. I'm going to take this path, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, and just for now, we'll change its color to red. And I'm going to change the length. We'll go about halfway. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to take this stroke and this circle and group it together. Okay, I'm going to slide our Create Tile Clones dialog box over again. Now, this time around, I'm going to make five clones and I'm going to rotate those at six degrees. Hit create. Get this back out of the way. Let me zoom back out. Okay. Now I have to ungroup this again twice. And I'm just going to delete my reference circle. Keep deleting until you get to that last one. Okay. And we can get rid of that one. I think I also have one behind here. Let me uh, do a shift and pull that down. Get rid of that one. There we go. Okay, now these are my second hands. I'm sorry, my minute hands. <clears throat> and I'm going to change each one of these to our white color. Okay, and I'm also going to change the stroke thickness. And we'll see what a 10 looks like. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now let's zoom out and take a look at it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, since that looks pretty good, whoops, I'm going to zoom in on this here. I'm going to take this, 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 and this. Well, i got to select them. Hold the shift key down and grab the circle and group them together. Now, what we're going to do, move this over, and we're going to pull open our create tile clones dialog box again this time around I'm gonna go back to 30 degrees and I want 12 of these <clears throat> we'll select our group and we'll hit create okay and we'll go ahead and ungroup this twice there we go and we're just deleting our reference circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now you see that we have all of our increments around here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is we need to make some characters. We'll do a 12 and I'll pick Comic Sans. Ah, just kidding. Let's go down to the bottom here, and let's see what we have. Let's pick World of Water. That's a pretty good font. And let's see what 48 does. Eh, let's go a little bit bigger. 12 looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select our 12, our inner circle. And we'll line that up. And I'll take that 12 and just push it up a little bit. There we go. And I'll make it white. Okay. 
Now what I need to do is I need to get three more of these around here. So I'm going to select our 12 and we're going to create tile clones again. This time we're doing 90 degrees. But before I do that, I need to select our digit, our circle, and group them together. Now I can go ahead and hit, well, we only want 4 here instead of 12. Now we hit Create. Slide this back out of the way. And we ungroup this twice. And we'll get rid of our reference circles. And there we have our digits. So now what I'm going to do on this is first I'll rotate it. I'm going to hold the control key down and just slide that around. There we go. Okay, we'll select our text tool. Select our text. We'll put in a three. Our text down here, got a six. Select our text there, and we got a nine. Now, since I've used kind of an odd font, I'll just rotate this around a little bit more. There we go. And just push this a little closer. And we'll line that up. <clears throat> okay. There are our numbers. Okay, the next thing that we need to do. We are, we are done with, uh, I think, tile clones. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. And I'm going to take this circle now. I'm going to hold the control and the shift key button down. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. And we'll go about right there. A little bit more. There we go. Now I'm going to take this circle. Go to our fill and stroke dialog. Change its opacity to full. And I'm going to make it black. Okay. I'm also going to give it a stroke. And we'll check our stroke size here. We'll give it a 4 for now. And for our fill, I'm going to give it a radial gradient. I'll edit the gradient. Let's see what we get here. Just a little bit wider. There we go. And make this just a little bit darker. Oh, well, that looks pretty good. Okay, now what we're going to do is change the location of the gradient. And we'll move this down to the bottom, about right there. I think that probably looks okay. And what I'm going to do, zoom in on this. And actually, I need to make my gradient just a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is right click on this circle and we'll duplicate it. I'll make its color white and I'm going to turn off the stroke. Okay, holding the control key and the shift key down, I'll grab this handle and I'm just going to rotate it until I get it to the inside of the stroke on the circle underneath. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and duplicate that. We'll change its color. I'm going to hold the control key down and move this down a little bit. I'll hold the control and the shift key down again. Make this just a little bit bigger. And I'm trying to create a moon shape. There we go. I'll select our red circle, our white circle. We'll go to path and we'll do a difference. Okay, that gives me my moon shape. I'll select our moon and I'm going to give this about, well, 
let's see let's try a 70 there let's give this just a little bit of a blur we'll try a 1 and we'll give this a gradient I'll slide this up there we go make this just a little bit transparent here and let's I think we should probably blur it just a little bit more let's try out 1.5 okay that give us just a little bit of a shine there we go okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is draw some hands so I'll zoom in on this section right here and I will right click on this do a duplicate I'll hold the shift key down select our color picker select orange select our node tool and I'm just gonna fudge this I want to try to keep it straight so that it's in line with that shape that I uh, that's underneath it okay I think that looks pretty good and I'm gonna take this portion walk right there with it okay that's our first hand okay now I'm gonna select a second hand <clears throat> I'll right click on this one duplicate we'll change its color we'll do a shift there we go and we'll select our node tool Okay, we'll put this about in the center and this one here this is going to be our shorthand so I'll move it about right here okay <clears throat> now the next thing that I'm going to do is take both of these and lower them a step to get it underneath whoops let's try them individually here make sure this is to the bottom there we go let's get this one and we'll lower it there we go and I'm gonna grab that and just make it just a little bit shorter there we go okay now what I'm gonna do is right click on this hand and do a duplicate and right click on this hand and duplicate we're going to open up our fill and stroke dialog I'll select this and see here I'll make it black along with this one okay I'll give this about a 2 for a blur I'll give this a 2 and we'll give this about a 90% there and this one a 90% okay I'll select both of these and we'll group them together and this is going to be my shadow okay lower that a step okay that gives us just a little bit of depth okay I think we're getting closer let me zoom up on this okay now the next thing that we're gonna do is we need to give this outer circle a stroke so we'll open our fill and stroke dialog and we'll turn on our stroke I'm gonna give this just about a light gray and let's see what a 30 does <clears throat> that looks pretty good go just a little bit more try 33 okay now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this outer circle and I'm gonna turn off our fill and for our stroke I'm gonna make it dark so we can see it and I'm gonna go about a let's try a 
a 12 for the stroke. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to hold our control and our shift key down, and I'm going to scale that down about right there. Okay. Now, let's go back to our fill and stroke. We'll make this just a little bit bigger. We'll try a 14. There we go. Okay, now for our outer circle, I want to make a gradient for the stroke. Okay, let me just bump this over a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now for, for the uh, gradient, we're going to edit that. Go to a little lighter shade here, and for our darker stroke, we'll do a little go just a little bit darker there we go and I will go light at the top dark at the bottom looks alright and for the inner stroke we're gonna select that same gradient and we'll change its gradient. We'll go dark at the top on this one, light at the bottom. There we go. And I'm going to take the inner stroke and we're going to give it just a little bit of a blur to knock that hard edge off of it. And It looks like one might be too much. We'll do a 0.6 Okay, I think that looks pretty good. It gives us just about what we want. Next, I'm going to select our dark circle. And I'm going to give this a radial gradient. And I'm going to select that dark circle again, and we're going to edit that. Okay, now... We'll go dark on this, and on the other one we'll go a little whiter. There we go. And maybe a little too bright. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think we're getting close. Uh, next, let's add a little pizzazz to this. So uh, we'll draw an eclipse, and we'll turn off the stroke. and we'll make this white and so we can see what we're doing I'll slide this over and I'm gonna see what this looks like here okay I think that probably looks pretty good now I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more put it about right there Okay, and I'm going to give it a gradient, and we'll make it make its blur. We'll tone it down a little bit, about an 80, and I'll move the gradient in. Let's see what that looks like here. I don't want to make it too shiny. Okay, I think that probably looks pretty good. And I'll select the very back circle. We'll duplicate it. Open up our fill and stroke dialog. We'll make it all black. We'll make the stroke all black. We'll do a 2 for the blur. And we're going to change its transparency. Let's see here, we'll try about a 65%. And I'll bump it down this way. And I'll send this to the very back. Okay. Now, zoom in on this. I'll go up to our document properties and we'll turn off our border and we'll zoom up on this and here is our finished clock 
Okay, now the brunt of this uh, tutorial was just showing you how to use uh, tiled clones to uh, make these uh, items across here in a, in a radial pattern. Um, just like in episode 34, you know, I did this uh, manually by stamping. Um, the tiled clones dialog box is a much, much faster way uh, to get to the finished product. So um, that's my tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.